Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the React OS. So that is the React operating system on a virtual machine on Windows 10. So first things first, you need to download React OS on the link below. So we're going to go ahead and press download. And we're just going to wait for that to start downloading for a couple of seconds. So you now need to select save file. So once you've pressed save file, you now need to go onto virtualbox.org and you need to go download virtualbox 5.1. So once you've clicked on that, you now need to go onto Windows hosts and we're going to go save file. So once you've downloaded the React OS zip file, we just need to open that up and you should have a .iso image in there. So that is a disk image. So you now need to drag that to your desktop. And we're just going to now close down that zip file. And now you need to open up virtualbox.exe and we're just going to install that to our machine quickly. So you now need to go next, next, and we're just going to keep all that at default. So we want to go next and go yes. Okay, so you just want to select install for that option. <clears throat> and we're now going to go start Oracle. So once you press start, you should have a window that looks like this. Obviously, you won't have the Windows Server 2008 option there, as that's another operating system that I've installed in the meantime. So you now need to go on to new. If I just maximize that up a tad, you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to go new and we're going to select version and we're just going to select Windows XP. So I'm just going to go with Windows XP 64 bit and for the name we want to type in React OS and you now need to select next. So here you need to choose how much RAM you're going to allocate to React OS. So I'm just going to go with, um, to be honest, 512 meg is fine, but just because I've got so much memory, I'm going to go with 1000 meg, so it runs that extra bit faster. Okay, so I'm now going to go create a virtual hard disk now, and I'm going to select the VHD option and we're just going to go next and I'm going to leave it on dynamically allocated so we want to go next and we just want to let's just yeah let's just leave that at 10 gig that's fine there we go right so we're going to go create okay so now we need to select the optical drive empty and we need to select choose disk image so once you're on here, you now need to select React OS, and we're just going to go open. So once you've done that, we can now power up our virtual machine by pressing start. So once you press start, you should now have a list of languages like I do on the screen at the minute. So you now need to select your language. So I'm going with English, United Kingdom, and we want to press enter to install React OS. So we want to press enter again. And here we have a few options. So we're just going to simply keep this set as default for now. And we're going to go accept these device settings. So now we need to create a partition. So to do this, we simply need to press P. And we need to just press enter. So now we've got our unformatted partition. So we can select enter on that partition and we want to do a quick format. So we're going to hit enter again. So this will delete anything on that partition, but that's absolutely fine because we have nothing on there. So once you press enter and format it, you now need to set up install files for React OS. So here's the directory that it will be installed at. So that's absolutely fine. So we can just press enter again. And as you can see, it's now copying all the setup files that are required for the install. 
So once it's done that, we now need to select Install Bootloader on the hard disk. So we're just going to select Enter on that, and we can now reboot our computer, or should I say virtual machine. So don't press anything just yet, as we didn't want to boot up from our disk again. So we're now going to select React OS, and now is setting up all the devices on our machine so we've got our little wizard here so we want to just go next and we just want to skip this bit this is basically just turned on where we got the file from so that's fine we don't need to do that so we want to go next and here you need to choose the username for your react os so i want to go with computer sluggish and we're just going to go next and here's the computer name so this is what your computer will come under on the network so i'm just going to leave that at react os for now and with all the random digits at the end in case i was to decide to install it on another machine so as for the administrator password i'm just going to go with something very simple like one two three and we can skip that bit and go next so this is to set up our network settings so i would suggest just leaving it on typical settings so just go next on there and if you have any problems then comment below and if i see your comment i will try and help you as much as possible or i'm sure someone else will be able to so do we want this machine on a work group I'm going to go no for now as, like I said, I don't have any other systems with React OS on. So that's successfully done. We now need to restart our machine again. So we're just going to go finish. But before we do that, I'm going to close down. So I'm going to power off this machine. And we're going to now select optical drive and we're going to go remove because we don't want that disk in there anymore. So we're now going to start up our machine again. And we just need to hit enter. And there you go. Let's just zoom out a little bit as I did zoom in a lot so you could see it better. Can I go, no. That's still too much, so let's just go 150, there we go, and let's just remove all that. So there you go, that is how you install the React OS on your machine. So for our Ethernet driver, we can select Install Driver automatically, and it didn't find it. So you're going to have to go Install Driver from a specific location, and you're going to have to download the network adapter driver for your machine off Windows. And then you're going to have to put it onto your, onto your virtual machine. So that's not too difficult to do. So let's just skip all that for now. It's just looking for any drivers and that that we need. So this is what the React OS looks like. It is very, very similar to the old school Windows XP, which makes it great as it's a free to use operating system and it's pretty much got everything that you need. And it doesn't require too much memory or anything either, as you just seen when we set up our virtual machine. Also, a good thing about this operating system is it does run windows xp applications so it does run windows applications i'm not too sure on windows 7 applications and stuff at the minute i'm sure you will be able to get them to work though and if you can't at the minute i'm pretty sure you'll be able to later on in a newer update so that is it that is the react os so i hope this tutorial helped if it did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials